Figure AI just changed everything. They've unveiled their third-generation humanoid robot, Figure 03, and it's the moment robotics steps out of the lab and into your living room. Forget everything you thought you knew about humanoid robots. Figure 01 was the prototype. Wires, metal, first steps. Figure 02 proved itself on BMW's factory floor. But Figure 03? This is the pivot point, the one that shifts humanoids from demonstrations to deployable. We're talking about a home-first robot built for the messy chaos of real life, kitchens, hallways, pets, kids, and unpredictable human behavior. It's lighter, softer, smarter, covered in fabric instead of hard plastic. It sees through cameras in its palms, and it recharges wirelessly through its toes. Yes, you heard that right. If you're into real-world AI, humanoid breakthroughs, and robots that actually work, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button, because what's coming next will blow your mind. Now, let's break down what makes Figure 03 such a massive leap. This robot stands about 5 foot 6 and weighs 132 pounds, around 9% lighter than Figure 02. That's not just about efficiency, it's about safety. The entire body is wrapped in multi-density foam and soft textiles. If it bumps into you or your kid, it's like being nudged by a pillow, not a machine. That's the kind of design thinking that makes humanoids actually livable. But under that soft exterior, a serious piece of engineering. Each hand has 16 degrees of freedom, allowing human-level dexterity. The tactile sensors in the fingertips can detect forces as small as 3 grams, the weight of a paperclip. The robot can tell the difference between holding a glass and gripping fabric, and adjust its pressure instantly. That means no broken dishes, no drop tools, no crushed objects. It's not gripping harder, it's gripping smarter. Then there's the palm camera system. Built-in lenses let the robot see exactly what it's touching, even when its main vision is blocked. Reaching into dark cabinets, sorting clutter, folding clothes, it maintains full visual awareness. That's next-level hand-eye coordination that even most humanoids can't match. And when the battery runs low, there's no plugging in. Inductive toe charging lets Figure 03 simply walk onto a mat and refuel at 2 kilowatts of power. It recharges itself fully autonomously, then gets right back to work. But here's what really sets this robot apart, its brain. Figure 03 runs on Helix AI, a next-generation vision language action system that understands what you mean, not just what you say. You tell it, clean up the kitchen. And it doesn't just hear words. It sees the scene, plans the steps, and executes intelligently. We're talking contextual reasoning, spatial awareness, and the ability to learn new tasks by observation. Now let's talk scale, because this is where it gets unreal. Figure AI didn't just build a robot, they built an entire factory for them. It's called BotQ, a manufacturing facility in California designed from the ground up to mass-produce humanoids. We're not talking a few prototypes a month, we're talking 12,000 robots per year scaling to 100,000 units in just four years. Every subassembly is tracked, tested, and logged in a digital manufacturing execution system for quality and traceability. That's how you shift from $500,000 prototypes to robots priced like a used car. If they hit Tesla's projected $20,000 price range, this isn't science fiction anymore. It's a real consumer product. And once that price drops, adoption explodes. Home use, elder care, hotel service, warehouse logistics, one platform, infinite use cases, the same spatial memory that helps Figure 03 remember where your coffee mugs are also helps it navigate inventory shelves. The same fine motor control that loads your dishwasher can handle sheet metal or packaging lines. By solving the hardest problem, the chaos of the home, Figure AI may have cracked the general purpose code. And they didn't ignore design psychology either. Those soft textile exteriors aren't just for protection. They make the robot look friendly, non-threatening, something you'd actually want in your home. The coverings are washable, replaceable, even customizable. From light grays and creams for domestic settings to darker tones for industrial work. They can even wear uniforms, think hotel bellhops, warehouse vests, or medical scrubs. Because yes, 
appearance matters when we're talking about human-robot coexistence. Now let's talk supply chain, the part that kills most robotic startups. Figure went vertical. They build critical modules like actuators, batteries, and sensors in-house for quality control and rapid iteration. They moved from slow custom machining to tool-based mass production, die casting, injection molding, stamping, every process optimized for cost and repeatability. That's not a concept. It's a production model already in motion. The BotQ facility is live, and commercial partners are testing figure 0, 3 throughout 2025. Full home pilot programs are expected by 2026. And with 100,000 units planned in the next four years, the scale is unlike anything we've ever seen in humanoid robotics. Smooth NCTA. If you've made it this far, you're part of the future-focused crowd that actually gets it. The ones who know how fast this revolution is coming. So make sure you're subscribed, drop a like to push this story out to more tech enthusiasts, and let me know in the comments. Would you trust a robot like Figure 03 in your home? Because ready or not, the robot revolution isn't coming someday. It's already being assembled, right now, in California. Figure 03 isn't just a step forward. It's the moment robots finally step into our world.